All right, today I'm going to talk about multiplying a monomial and a polynomial. When I talk about monomials, I'm basically just talking about, you know, a single term. So maybe I have 4, or maybe I have x, or maybe I put them together and I have 4x. All monomials. And then the other side of it is I'm going to multiply by a polynomial, which means I get a bunch of monomials together. So you might start seeing stuff like this. So basically, I'm going to connect those things together um, in some form. When I'm dealing with this kind of multiplication, you have to start thinking, well, I'm going to do some uh, multiplying of terms that have exponents, which is an important thing to consider when you're dealing with it. A and you should know, if you don't already or don't remember, that you want to deal with uh, exponents sort of in uh, with the thought in your head of, OK, order of operations. So I'm going to do order of operations, parentheses is the most important, exponents, and then multiply, divide, but I'm actually going to do them backwards because that doesn't get much play. Because it doesn't matter, multiply can come before divide or whatever, as long as you just do them left to right. And because I'm doing it that way, I'll do add and subtract, but I'll do subtract and add instead. Now, when I do, I tend to think of the numbers in front of the variables, those are called coefficients, as the big brother in this setup, and the exponents, or the little numbers here, would be the little brother. So when I'm multiplying with the coefficients, uh, I tend to treat them like the big brother. So the exponents are treated with the hand-me-down operation of addition, which is an important thing to consider. So when you multiply the numbers, you need to make sure that you add the exponents together in order to get the correct answer. So let's do some not that complicated to do. Um, you know, it's not that big of a deal. This is the first basic setup. So I have 6 here and 4x. So this is x to the first power. You don't really need to identify that in this problem, but later on it would be helpful if you did. So 6 times 4 is 24, and there's no other x term, so you just keep x there. And then treat it as 6 times negative 3, and that's negative 18. So your final answer is 24x minus 18. That's the most simple. Uh, it's just basic distributive property. Uh, just had that in there to identify it as a monomial and a polynomial. In this case, um, we're dealing with 8x times 2x minus 6. My suggestion is because at least in my life, it's very easy to sort of forget that these are x to the first power. You might want to go ahead and mark them in some way to remind yourself, yeah, x to the first power is there. It's, be, it's better to do that than to lose it later. So we're going to do the 8 times 2 and get 16. Big brother multiplies, little brother adds, so 1 plus 1, x to the second power. And then I do 8 times negative 6, so it's negative 48 and there's only one x there, so you just keep it. So that's the product of that one. Uh, this one's exactly the same, so I'm not going to do it. Then we extend it out and talk about, okay, well, what happens if we have a monomial? And this is one, two, three parts, so it's a trinomial. I think there's one I'd rather start with. Let's do this one, the easiest of that set. So in this case, uh, I want to go ahead and prep out that there's a 1 there. And then I just do negative 5 times 5, which is negative 25m squared. Uh, 5 times 7 is 35m. Now, really, you didn't need to put the 1 there, but it's just good practice to go ahead and do it if you're going to use it later. That way you get a little system going. You do the same thing every time. And that's it. That's the uh, multiplication that needs to be done for that set. Make sure you check your signs and they make sense. So this should be negative, positive, and positive, and they are. So that one's good. Now I'm going to go back and do the one that I skipped over a second ago. So this one. In this case, it's more important to make sure that you identify the uh, to the first powers because it's easy to lose them. Negative 3 times negative 7 gives you positive 21 and you multiply the big brother to add the littles 2 and 1 is 3. Now you do negative 3 times negative 5 and you get positive 15. It's easy to just go ahead and write that negative down but then you end up getting minus negative and that's such a pain. I tend to think of this as a negative 3 times a negative 5 and then whatever answer I get whether I do it in my head or in calculator or whatever I tend to put that down as opposed to thinking of it as bringing the minus down every time. That just becomes sloppy for me anyway. So anyway, I multiply the uh, coefficients or the big brothers, I uh, add the exponents or the little brothers, 1 plus 1 is 2. And then finally, negative 3 times negative 7 is positive 21. 
and I only have P left over for that one. So one more, I think. It's really not, you know, this undoable thing. Actually, yeah, I want to do this one. I might do the other one at the very end. I haven't. Um, it depends on how this one goes. So in this case, you probably, you know, remember there's a one there. But you know, if you don't, make sure that you identify it. Uh, this might come in handy as well. So negative one times negative two is positive two, and then you multiply the numbers. So I want to, you know, add the exponents, big brother, little brother into the fourth power. And then I do negative 1 times negative 4 and get positive 4. 2 plus 1 is 3, so it's n to the third. And then finally, negative 1 times negative 2 gives you plus 2, and there's only that n squared term uh, to finish off that set. And I think I will do the last one after I make sure this answer is correct. Occasionally I get these wrong, and it's kind of ridiculous to do it, make a video, and then be wrong in it, but I, it happens all the time with me. Search around. You'll probably find some. Anyway, in the last set here, mark the stuff that you kind of already know to be the case. And then I want to deal with negative 3 times 1. And then big brother multiplies, so little brother adds 2 plus 2, so x to the fourth. Negative 3 times negative 4 gives you plus 12. 2 plus 1 is 3. And then finally, negative 3 times negative 1 is plus 3. And you deal with x squared. So that's it. I mean, it's pretty simple stuff. Multiplying monomials, just multiply by every term. Make sure that you uh, I'd sort of identify the x to the first power is there, just so you don't miss them and lose them or whatever. Treat the multiply in an appropriate fashion. Should be able to get them right, you know, almost every single time. So good luck.